Welcome to the second video of our series, TJ Admissions Test, Frequently Missed Questions Presented by TJ Test Prep. We offer TJ Round 1 proctored exams online, and in this series we will go over the types of problems that we have seen students miss on the exam. In this series, we hope students gain an understanding of how to approach different types of math problems seen on the TJ exam. Even if you got the problem right, watch this video as you can learn helpful problem solving strategies that you can apply to other problems. If you want to learn more about our practice proctored exams or register for them, please go to tjtestprep.com. Now on to the problem. So the question that we have here is, the formula for the surface area of the depicted rectangular solid is A equals 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH, where L equals length, W equals width, H equals height. When each of the dimensions is doubled, L, W, and H, the surface area will be multiplied by what factor? So I want you to solve this problem first, then we will review the answer and the solution. So the answer to this problem is B, 4. Let's see how we got this answer. So we have two solutions for this problem. The first one is uh, to modify the formula so that you plug in 2L, 2W, and 2H for those variables. So as you see here, uh, the original area is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Um, the first thing that you'll have to do is plug in 2L for L, 2W for W and 2H for H. And so because of the fact that each uh, dimension of the solid is doubled, you'll have to plug in double the amount for each variable. So a lot of people may get into the trap of wrongly multiplying this out, um, but you have to plug in 2L into L itself and 2W into W itself. So here we have A times X and X is just the amount that uh, A is going to be multiplied by. So that's what we have to solve in this problem. So a times some number x is 2 times 2l times 2w plus 2 times 2l times 2h plus 2 times 2w times 2h. Again, we have to plug in 2l for the original l, 2w for the original w, and 2h for the original h. So after we plug in those variables, we finally get the formula, which is 8lw plus 8LH plus 8WH. So step two is to factor it out. So hopefully you see here that in both formulas you have LW plus LH plus WH. What you can do is factor that out and you'll get A equals two times that amount and AX equals eight times that amount. Now to solve for X, you would just divide the second equation by the first equation. So you get AX over A equals 8 times LW plus LH plus WH over 2 times LW plus LH over WH. So again, dividing, you would take the second formula and divide that over the, for, the first formula. So when you do that, you would get 8 of all that times 2 of all that, and the uh, formula would cancel out, and you would get 8 over 2, which ends up being 4. And then on the left side, where AX divided by A, you would get X equals 4. A second way of solving it is to plug in a number for the formula and plug in a different number for the modified formula. So this is called plug and chug. And this solution may be slightly faster than the modified formula method, as in the modified formula method, you have to write a lot down. So in general, we recommend actually to plug in numbers instead of actually modifying the formula. Again, the least amount of work that you can do uh, is what you should do. Uh, writing a lot will always be slower, and in test taking strategies, you want to go with the faster and accurate way. So the faster and accurate way is to plug and chug. So you have the original formula, which is A equals 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. <clears throat> so the first thing to do is uh, plug in any number for L, W, and H. Plug in a number that is easy for math. So 1 makes it really easy. All you have to do is 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6. Obviously, don't pick a number like 0 that won't tell you any information. But plug in a number that will tell you information and is very easy to actually do the math. Usually, it's going to be 1. The second step is to actually double uh, L, 
w and h as in the problem. So here, we plugged in 1 originally. Now, we know that l, w, and h is doubled. So now, just plug in 2. So now, you get uh, you know, 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24. So finally, you do the same thing as last time. You take the modified a over a equals the modified surface area over the surface area. So here, you would do ax over a, which is just x, equals 24 over 6, which is 4. And you would get the correct answer, answer which is x equals 4. So again, two, uh, two solutions, both are equally valid and accurate, but modify formula is a little bit slower than plug and chug. So we recommend that you do plug and chug for the TJ test. For more information about our TJ test prep services, including proctored TJ practice exams for round one and an SIS essay prep course for round two, visit us at tjtestprep.com. If you are interested in our services or like our videos, please contact us at prep4tj at gmail.com. That's prep, the number 4, tj at gmail.com. We will be happy to answer any questions you have. We also have a blog series online where we write about helpful TJ admissions tips. Visit us at tjtestprep.com slash blog to read our posts. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe to keep up to date with our YouTube channel. We frequently post, so subscribe with post notifications turned on by hitting the bell icon to be notified when we upload. Thank you for watching our video.